Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the show. Mana mana dee 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 dee. Mana mana dee dee dee. Mana mana. Hey everybody. I am um looking for Leanne. There you are. Hi Leanne. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Is life good in Leanne Land? Woo woo. Yes. Leanne says she can hear me and she can see me. I am so excited. Hey, everybody. Welcome. <coughs> Welcome back to Tuesday Live, a Tuesday tribe. I mean, the Tuesday Live has been going on for the last eight weeks, except we've been sort of focused just on the Get Organized Challenge deal. So today we're back with our first Tuesday Live in our regular Tuesday Live format. <sighs> I'm talking too fast already. Woo woo. So, what do I have for you today? I have my little song, Mana Mana, dee 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 dee, while we wait for people to pop on. If you are new to the Tuesday Tribe or Tuesday Live, this is your opportunity to ask me questions. If you have specific questions about specific products or projects that you're working on and what products might help you to get those things organized, this is your day to ask me whatever. Usually, we have a post that goes up on Saturday or Sunday that says, do you have questions for Tuesday Live? So it gives you a few days and some reminders to think about what you might wanna know. And then you can post those questions right there in the um, Instagram or Facebook um, like comments. And then I'll get all of those on Tuesday morning to answer them. We had kind of a lot going on and we didn't get that post up. So if you have questions today, type them into the feed, start with the word question in all caps, and that will we also have a guest camera woman today. My mother is here. Woo woo. Susie is enjoying a nice trip to Europe with her mother. So we have Tiny T behind the camera today. So she will also read the feed. And if you have questions, um, she'll try to get them to me. And I've got Leanne here on my phone also feeding me questions uh, <coughs> if, they, if they pop up. So it could be kind of a short Tuesday live today for that. I do have some really big announcements though. Okay. First announcement is... Karen from Be Creative is going to be on Shop and Show Live, which is a Facebook Live scrapbooking, card making, paper crafting uh, show where you can learn all about products and um, shop at the same time. And why am I telling you that about Karen at Be Creative? Because she is a totally Tiffany representative at all of the scrapbook shows, the scrapbook expo shows. Um, Stamp and Scrap Expo, and she is going to be on Be Creative um, with uh, Totally Tiffany products and some other products too, I think. Um, so watch for that. We'll send out a link so you can watch the show, learn a little bit more, and see what's happening in Karen's uh, world with Be Creative. Big, big news. I'm not sure I want to sh share any of this with you because I don't want you to hop off the Tuesday Live <coughs> and go over to the website, but it is a $10 Tuesday Today, what is available for $10, um, the 12 by 12 paper takers back in stock and available for $10. So I think that's almost half price. I think they're normally $18.99 or $19.99. What is a 12 by 12 paper taker? For those of you who don't know, this is a 12 by 12 paper taker, right? So it's two inches deep. It's got the handle on the side, label pocket on the side as well. It's oh, it's a three-sided tray, so that gives you the protection, the edges and corners of your paper, but easy to pull things in and out. So of course, it works for 12 by 12 paper. It works with our uh, paper storage box dividers. It works with the 12 by 12 pockets. It is a great way to transport um, vinyl rolls as well, or if you don't have a ton of vinyl, and you just need one small storage for those, they're gonna fit in there. And again, it will work with the 12 by 12 pockets. So if you're keeping your scraps of vinyl together. So this, I think it's normally $18.99, might be $19.99, but it's $10 today. So the 12 by 12 paper taker is $10. Um, the four drawer storage and supply case is $10. So, this is a storage and supply case. This happens to be loaded up with all the uh, materials for my button press. 
the drawers pull out for easy access to your supplies. I'm gonna give you a little tip on the four drawer storage. Let me find my other four drawer here. No, no, no. I need to label on the side which drawers, that, what drawer configuration is in there instead of just, really, I know I have this somewhere. Okay, so here's my tip. Uh, Mom, can you um, go over to my desk and in the car craft cart to the right side with all like the office supplies in it on the top? I need just a binder clip or two, two binder clips. Any size will do for the moment. Two so the four drawer, of course, has four containers inside it. And if you want the container the, to pull the back container out, at the same time as you pull the front container out. Well, this one's too big. Okay, so I told my mom any size. The small binder clip size is the better one because when you pull down the little ears, um, they, oh look, get any size, but not that size. How about that? How about that size? So the smaller binder clips, there's like the tiny one and the medium one. When, then you can clip the trays together. I didn't clip those, but. And so when you pull out the tray, you'll pull out the back tray with the front tray at the same time. So super simple solution, handy thing that we probably all have around our homes, a couple of binder clips, and that makes that four drawer even more accessible and even more um, useful. So uh, the storage and supply case, so this is $10. This is probably normally, $15.99 or $16.99. So again, super great savings on that. They're gonna work for so many different things. Um, again, side handle, label pocket, top handle. They do fit in your lowest tote or in your new Cindy tote. I think you can get five of this size uh, storage and supply case in your Cindy or lowest tote. So really versatile. And again, $10 today. Last but not least on the $10 Tuesday list, the scrap rack pages, the double-sided duos. Now those are the like, two for one pages, right? You have a 12 by 12 pocket on the back and then you either have two pockets on the front or four pockets on the front. If you click on the on specials tab <coughs> on the website, um, they're right there. So all four of the $10 Tuesday items are on the website um, on the on specials tab on the Totally Tiffany website. So those are my two big announcements of the moment. Um, let's see, Andrea says, how many pages should be on this binder. I think mine are too full. Um, so I'm gonna show you a little trick to know if your spinders are too full. So when you pull, I just unlo unlocked mine, it wasn't good. When you pull your spinder off your scrap rack and you set it on the table, if you pop it open and things pop off, it's too full. Now your dividers, if your divider comes off, don't worry about that. That's just because they're heavier duty so they're but if you if you open it and the pages kind of pop over, then it's too full. There is no specific page number um, that that works because some people put one thing in each pocket. Some people put six or seven things in each pocket. So obviously, if your pockets are fatter, your pages are fatter. You're going to get less pages on a spinder, right? And then again, it depends on how many dividers you have on there as well. So this is the way to do it: lay it flat on the table, pop it open. If stuff pops off, then you know it's over. It's overfilled. Make sure you close your little tabs at the end to lock it up. So a lot of you took advantage of the um, 12 by 12 binders that were on special last week. Is that right? I can't remember. Um, during the show, I think. And um, so today's a great day to pick up those double-sided dual pages at 10 bucks. So normally they're $19.99. So they are like half price. I mean, I guess... Technically, that's false advertising because they would have to be $9.99 to be half price, but they're 10 bucks. It's a smoking deal. And it's like getting two pages for one because you have the 12 by 12 side and then you have the pocket side on the other side. So if you are using a scrap rack, just getting started with the binders you bought at the last show, um, don't miss out. That is a smoking deal. I mean, even if you don't think you need pages right now, that's a great, I mean, that's, that's a great deal, half price basically on those products. Gail Unbox says, how is the container ship situation now? How long is it taking for products to reach you? Thanks. Container shipping is still a nightmare, uh, still considerably longer than 
it ever was in the past. So, um, you know, when you hear on the news, the things about supply chain issues, that's it. So <laughs> when they stop talking about it on the news, it'll be caught up for us as well. I know the new issues on the news are um, about other specific things right now, but um, containers coming over are slower and then they have to get the containers back and refill them and bring them back over. So all of it is still kind of a nightmare. What we are trying to do is to get more product uh, in each order so that we have a time between, which will hopefully keep us from running out of things. So there is a plan in place for us to be moving forward with that. I'm sure everyone has the same plan though, right? Every other company is trying to do the same thing. So that doesn't help the process at all, I guess. So um, Linda Smith says, how many Edna bags fit in a slide stash and store product? Uh, so Edna, so this is the number six slide stash and store. And I have four Ednas in here. And all of these are ribbon, which means they're bigger. If you were, if you had flatter product in your Edna bag, you might be able to get five. Let me see. Let me find some flat Edna or Merle. So if you were going... One. Oh, come on. I know I have tons of these guys. Those are, um, oh, here's a Merle. That will work. So this is my dog bag. Mm, four or five. Do, this one's fat also. Four or five depending on, see any more, Mom? No? Four or five depending on how flat they are. Look at this. Oh yeah, easy five if they're flat, four if you're using them for ribbon and they're rounded. Just always a little magic show here. Put my ribbon on it, here we go. So, um, and I think the number six in the slide station store, <sighs> I don't know where it's available right now. All right. If you, you wanted to go with the number five, you could, and you were not doing the ribbon. So I have those in the six because it's ribbon, but you could, if you had the flatter things, you could go the other way. And then you're probably, but you're probably only going to get three in if you go this way in the slide stash and store with flatter stuff. And that would be the number five box. Okay, um, next question. Do you know when the paper cart will be back in stock? Um, I, I don't, it's not even on the list right now. So it'll be a while. Sorry, I wish I had a better answer for you on that. Um, Bonnie, hi Bonnie Block. Uh, question, Tiffany, are you traveling to shows or events in 2022? I am not. Um, I'm gonna do, uh, no, I'm not, I'm, I'm thinking that because Kimberly, who's part of the U S team was trying to convince me who I adore. She's like, come to the Ontario show. It's closed. We can hang out together. It'll be super fun. And I would absolutely have done that except it is the same weekend as, uh, the cactus garden tour here in Arizona. And I'm already committed to that. So um, probably in 2023, I'll try to get out to a few more shows. I guess it's not that far, right? It goes so fast. So I do miss the shows. I miss talking to people. I miss getting your feedback and finding out what your problems are and hearing what you think you need and getting all that inspiration and all that, you know, all that good energy for designing new products. So um, Dana Walter Hill, <coughs> Hill says, should each binder start with the divider or can I split them between spinders? You don't have to use dividers at all. Um, uh, I, there's obviously one of the nice things about dividers is it allows you to flip big sections really easily. I do put a divider in the front and a divider in the back of each section because it gives me the stability, right? It's just more like a book. It's more like a book cover, but you can put this, you can put the dividers where they belong, right? Wherever in the section. And then you can see here, this one, 
I don't actually use as a divider. I actually just trimmed the tab off because it's just the back of a book. Um, that section continues or changes with the front um, here. So in the in the scrap in the next section of the scrap rack. So I just I don't it doesn't have the tab on. I just trimmed it off so I could get that like book. The other thing about having a front and back on them is if you're putting this into your tote, like if you're taking this with you and you're traveling with it like this, it protects the front and back. Again, gives it that sort of book feeling. And when you slide them in and out next to each other into a, a tote of some sort, the pages don't get hung up on each other because you have that front like piece or back piece that gives it that book feeling. But you don't, you don't need, it's not, it isn't necessary. It's just nice. And um, <clears throat> the dividers add like stability. So you have less page sag in your scrap rack. So they're good for that also, <coughs> but not necessary. Nice, but not necessary. Linda Sabo says, what buddy bag for the Stamps of Life ribbon? You know, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think that Stephanie's ribbon is a little bit smaller. If you have one handy, uh, Lisa, and you can put up the dimension on it, I think that, boy, I think the four drawer, um, I think the four drawer, the one that's on special today, uh, might fit Stephanie's ribbon. And I also think the Edna might fit Stephanie's ribbon. And woo, 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 talking about Stephanie, okay, everybody, get yourselves ready for this. Leanne will post up some links. Um, Stephanie has... Uh, unique things. She gets limited edition stuff, stuff that we don't sell. Scrapbook.com doesn't sell. If you are not following Stephanie on the Stamps of Life and you love Totally Tiffany products and you want something that's a little bit unique, Stephanie is your go-to girl for that. We do stuff specifically for her. For those of you who don't know Stephanie, she's my bestie. I love her so much. And we do all these cool things just for her. So right now she has, uh, my purple people, she has the Sue, the Terry... No, these are for the pink people. Sue, Terry, and Edna buddy bag bundle in pink, and that's Stephanie's pink. I think she has the she has Stephanie pink and she has a dark pink. Now, uh, when you look at the website, I noticed this morning maybe it's just my computer screen. The colors look a little bit off, but the purple is the dark, totally Tiffany purple. She has Stephanie stamps of life pink and then we have a dark pink the totally tiffany pink so if you want buddy bags in pink and purple stephanie is the only one who has them she's got a couple of bundles but they are limited edition so if you don't get them now um you won't get them because she only brings in we do a certain number for her it's a one-time deal and then we might do the other buddy bags later or different configurations but these configurations these colors you're only going to see them now and they're only available from Stephanie, my friend, my good friend, Stephanie. Also, <coughs> Stephanie has a really cool bundle right now, and she's got very limited stock on it, which is the lowest tote in her pink, in the Stephanie pink, and it comes preloaded with vinyl roll organizers, right? I think there's five in there. It is the perfect solution if you're a Stephanie fan for organizing your felt, which she uses a lot of in her card designs, and that's why she's got it, but it also fits perfectly for your vinyl. And even if you're not using felt, you're not using vinyl, having the five trays in your lowest tote, you can organize anything in there and keep everything nice and neat and tidy. So as an example, let me pull this one off because it's empty, right? Oh no, it's not empty. It just only has two rolls in there. That must be the rest of the rolls that are in my 12 by 12. So this is going to fit almost anything that's 12 by 12. Oh, I'm looking around here for... Um, so if you had five of these in your lowest tote, you could use it for organizing paper, specifically if you're setting yourself up to go to a, on a trip. Think about... All five of these in a lowest tote sitting open next to your chair at a crop. So you could reach right in and pull out the exact paper that you needed. Keep it organized the whole time. Your um, scrap masters are also going to fit into this. Again, keeping yourself vertically organized. Um, any tools that you're taking with you 
that are tall and thin can be stand stood up in there. So what we think the vinyl roll organizers, we think vinyl, they're gonna fit so many things. And what that's gonna do is segment off that lowest toe. So it's the perfect solution for lots of different things, including um, mm -mm -mm, your smaller buddy bags, right? So if you're taking a bunch of your small buddy bags with you, so these are Teresa and Shelly, and let's grab, uh, who's this down here? That, that has Band-Aids in it, not very exciting. This is a Gale. So you can organize your whole lowest tote and get everything vertically as well. Super simple, super easy, and you are ready to go. And again, Stephanie has that unique bundle, that unique bag color, um, and very, very limited in quantity. So I'm, I'm pretty sure as I'm speaking here, Leanne is putting up those links for you. I'll put all my toys back here um, so that you can get to those right on Stephanie's website today and take advantage of those fun colors. We don't have any plan to release the buddy bags in color right now. So if you like the colors, uh, you're gonna, you wanna get those from Stephanie. Okay, and then in purple, we have our two top sellers. One of them we've been out of stock on for a long time, the Kirsten buddy bag and the Karen buddy bag. So you are getting, I think it's two Karens and a Kirsten or two Kirstens and Karen. I'm sorry, I don't have that actually spelled out here. I'm in that bundle in the purple. And I think it includes pockets. I think you get a set of pockets with, with each bag. And then if you need additional pockets, I'm sure Stephanie has those on our website, the nine by six for the Kirsten and the five by seven for the Karen uh, buddy bag. So don't miss out on any of that. Okay. Do you have a question, Mom? They want to know if that's really TT purple. Yes, it really is the TT purple. <laughs> like, it's a weird color on Stephanie's website. Um, <coughs> it almost looks like kind of a light purple. It is not. I promise you, it is our classic TT. I don't have anything here. Like, look, if your lowest tote is purple, it is the same color purple as your lowest tote or your ditto bag. So um, it looks weird on Stephanie's website, but it is actually the true color of that. I do not know um, if the pink and if it's if it calls it out on her website that it's Stephanie pink or Tiffany pink. So the Stephanie pink is that lighter pink and then the Tiffany pink is, is the darker, brighter pink. Uh, I don't know. I definitely know in the tote, in the lowest tote, it is the Stamps of Life pink. We did that specifically for her in her color. Um, so I know that one. I just don't know if the buddy bags or the light pink, or the Tolly Tiffany dark pink. And maybe somebody, Barb or Terry, or one of you who has an inside line to Stephanie. Um, well, well, I wonder what she's doing today. Should I try to, maybe I'll call her and just ask her. How fun is that, right? Let's see. Let's, let me check here and see. Sometimes she's busy herself, so she can't actually answer, but sometimes she picks up the phone when we call. Uh, it'd be good if I get out of text messages and into phone calls, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> Stephanie. Hey, why isn't she? There she is. Let's see. Okay. While I'm waiting for Stephanie to answer, I'll put her on speaker when she, and she pops on. Um, I need to announce the winner from last week. Woo, woo, woo. So this is the last winner from um, the Get Organized Challenge. So it's a $25 gift certificate to the Totally Tiffany website. And the winner, drum roll please, brrr, Colleen Reckon. You are the winner. Sorry, Stephanie, I'm answering. Someone says that uh, on the website, Stephanie's are labeled pink and Totally Tiffany's are listed as hot pink. Okay, very good. So. Hot pink is the totally Tiffany color on Stephanie's website and pink is Stephanie's lighter pink color. So that kind of answers that question. So if the buddy bags say hot pink and maybe somebody who's on her site could uh, post that up as well. Yes, there are hot pink buddy bags and the purple buddy bags. I do know for sure purple is 
the TT Purple. Okay, Colleen Reckon, you are this week's winner for your progress post. And I want to encourage all of you to pop onto the Facebook page and read Colleen's post because she is talking about repurposing things. And as she's going through the organization challenge, taking things that were you that she bought for marker storage and using them for stamp storage rather than getting new stuff, she's been able to you know, negotiate some of the, the um, trays in there. And now she's got stamp storage and she's moved her markers to something else. So it's a great way to use the um, pen and ink palace if you don't have enough markers or you want to put your markers in a buddy bag or whatever. But um, Colleen, thank you so much for sharing that with us also. And all you need to do, Colleen, is um, reach out to prizes at crafterscompanion.com and say, I am the winner of the GOC number eight, $25 gift certificate, and they will get you all hooked up. So back on the regular Tuesday live gig, we do give away a gift certificate every week as well to get, and we announce it during the show, which we will do today. Um, to win today's prize, all you have to do is put a comment in. Everybody's name goes into a drawing. Leanne draws a name just before the end of the show, and we give away a $25 gift certificate every week. So make sure that you comment, tell us what your favorite Totally Tiffany product is, where you are, how long you've been a follower, uh, what you love the best, whatever it is, and that will get you into the drawing. <clears throat> okay, uh, other announcements. Oh, let's see. Um, Aunt Penny says, what products do you consider the essential items for a beginner? <clears throat> um, boy, I would say if you are a scrapbooker card maker, a scrap rack is a no brainer. Um, it's especially if you're a beginner. Oh my gosh, wouldn't that be amazing if we had had a scrap rack when we first started and we started by putting everything in there. Um, you can also use the scrap rack pages dividers in, in the 12 by 12 binders. If you're really getting started, you just have a little bit and then you can, and then you want to move over to a scrap rack, everything transfers over. So I would say a scrap rack is a key item. Um, the slide stash and store collection is great for, I mean, here's the hard part of that question. Um, everybody has a little bit different space and we operate differently. So I would say if you have shelving slide stash and store is a no brainer because it fits everything. As a matter of fact, I just sort of reorganized all of my, um, tool stuff with Slide Stash and Store. Now, Slide Stash and Store is available on Stephanie's website. We have some of it on our website. My understanding is we are getting um, the four, five, and six, which are the bigger boxes back in stock on our website. I think it's available on scrapbook.com right now as well. I am gonna tell you something. The four, five, and six are the most popular. Um, they're probably because they're the most versatile. Um, and when we get them in, Next month, they will sell. My prediction is the stock that we have, people have been waiting for it now for a couple of months. The, my prediction is that, that the four, five, and six will sell out the day we release them. So if that is something you need and you can't find it now on scrapbook.com and you're on the waiting list for Totally Tiffany um, or you can't get it with Stephanie, when you get that email notification that it's back in stock, don't hesitate. I know that sounds like a weird hardcore sales pitch, but um, there are... It's sold out when we released it four months ago. Those, the four, five, and six sold out in the first two days. And we had many, many more of them than we're going to have tomorrow when they come back in stock. So Tuesday Tribers, this is the reason to be here. You get that inside scoop. So if you don't know a lot about them and you want to check them out and be in the know, now is the time to do it because I think they're going to be back in stock in the next couple of weeks. So, uh, sorry, I'm kind of digressing from the question. So... But slide stash and store, this, this entire row here is slide stash and store. And what I've done is I've taken all of my tool things. So this is a bow maker, right? These are two different um, punch boards, the small alphabet punch board and um, the tag punch board, right? This is my flower punch board and all the accessories that go with the flower punch board. But you can see those are scoreboards. There's a couple in there. That's my banner um, and pennant board. 
This is the pinwheel board. But you can see all of those tools are right on my shelf. All of them are lumpy and bumpy and difficult to store because they all get hung up on each other. But I have now this whole row of tools on my shelf and I can bring them. Oh, and here's the other thing about punch boards in particular, right? The little, these little guys come out, right? Drop off and get lost. But if you've got them in here, not only have you solved the lumpy bumpy problem of storage, you also, if anything comes loose, the instructions uh, like the flower stems or the pinwheel stems, they're all in there with everything I need. Easy to get to, but you can see how easy off and on. The other thing is, oh, I mean, you know, everything I do, I make it as lightweight as possible while still making it sturdy enough to hold your products. If you're going to use this and you pull it off, you can work with it. Like I said, instructions, put it back and then slide it right back on the shelf. So you can just bring this whole thing to your workspace. So even if the little thing did fall out, it didn't matter because it's already on your workspace and you can find it in a little box. So it's super simple. So slide stash and store essential. Uh, one of the basics I would say for um, craft room. And then I would say buddy bags, like I guess this is the long route to this answer, right? And then I'd say <coughs> buddy bags are also um, a key item for that. I don't know that I'm supposed to do this or not, say this or not, but I guess I'm going to. Or again, Tuesday Tribers, you always get the scoop. Um, the slimline storage solution is also going to be available on Stephanie's website, I think this week. So um, if you haven't seen it yet, stay tuned. If you love slimline and all the things that go with slimline, you definitely want to take advantage of the slimline storage solution. Stephanie has a bundle uh, on that and she has a limited number of those as well. So keep your eyes on Stephanie's website and her email list. Um, is it really per TT purple? Yes. Uh, Danella Pedraza says, I have the eight and a half by 11 felt pieces. What would you store them in? If they're eight and a half by 11 and rolled up and you want to go vertical, then the slide stash and store or the, um, sorry, vinyl roll organizer is perfect for that. If you want to keep them, if they're flat sheets of them, I think that probably the um, eight and a half by 11, which is also available on Stephanie's website. So this is the eight and a half by 11 um, storage and supply case, paper taker. Er, um, so this would be a great way to store those as well. So flat, I would say the eight and a half by 11 paper taker and um, rolled up, I would say, you know, the kit that the bundle that Stephanie has with the tote is a great option as well. And it comes with the vinyl roll organizers inside it already. Um, will the three drawer storage and supply case, when will they be available? I have no idea. I'm, they have been done and ready. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'll ask again about them. There's been a bunch of changes. Um, I will ask about it on my meeting next Tuesday morning and see if there's any, if we're any closer to an actual release date for that. I know it will be released um, with on HSN at some point this year, but I don't know when the mass release is going to be, but I will look into it for you. I would like to know myself actually. Susan Phillips says, are the 10 inch slide stash in store in production yet to fit in the upper cabinets? No, but the design work is done for them. And, um, I will my mother wants those also. <laughs> She's a big push on that. Yeah, like, yeah, I need those. She just built her new craft closet, which is amazing. And um, she's like, I could use a few of those that are a little shorter. So we're on it. Uh, I need like, a lot. like I said, she needs a lot, not a few. I need a lot of those. So um, just yes, yeah, so we're on it. The work is done. I'm not sure when the release date will be on that. Um, Karen <coughs> Swick says, question about Katie and divider pockets and magnets. Are they designed for stamps on one side and magnets on the other? It seems tight to get them in and out of the divider pocket. Mm. <laughs> um, <laughs> they are tight to get in and out of the divider pocket. There's no two ways around that. Um, 
So this one, oh, I just put that in the pocket. This one I have red rubber stamps on, right? And they are snug in that pocket if that's what you're talking about. So one side is magnetic on these and one side is just white. And that's why these are sticking to it. Um, my advice to you is, I mean, if you're not using red rubber, they're not as difficult to get in and out. I'm trying to see if I have something else in here that's a, just a regular stamp. I don't in this, um, but I do have like the dies on there. So the dies, just the dies alone are really easy. And if I throw a stamp set in there, let's see if I have a bigger one at, at the ready here. This one probably won't fit because it's a big square. So of course the one I pull out is not the good size. One over here, I guess I'll use just one of these. Come off, come out of there. So the regular um, polymer, polymer stamps, right? They do fit in there. It is easier to pull it in and out. Um, Unless they're not, they're not stuck on there. So I got the package stuck on there. Let's see if they'll stick. Let's stick them. See what happens. Oh, I can't take those out. I got them labeled on that. Well, I can. I can just put them back. I always make a mess here. I don't know why I'm trying to be tidy today. So. You know I'm trying to be tidy because the acetate is fair and you know I'm going to lose it. That's why. Okay. The red rubber is really um, much thicker than these. So, and how about this? I'm trying to put something white into something clear. So I always recommend that you put the dies in on the back side of the pocket because, oh my gosh, guess who it is? It's Stephanie. So then, Stephanie, my lovely, lovely friend, how are you? I'm on Tuesday Live. Can I put you on speaker? Absolutely. Woo oh, okay, hang on a sec. All right, you're live with us, Stephanie. Say hi to your Hello, peeps. Hello, my friend. Woo. <laughs> Hey, we just had a couple of questions. Um, okay. The purple bundle of buddy bags that you have, those are the totally Tiffany purple, yes. right? Okay. And then in the pink buddy bags, are those bright pink or Stephanie pink? Tiffany they pink? Are, they are Stephanie pink. Okay. So the pink buddy bags are Stephanie pink and the pink... Um, Lois tote with the vinyl roll trays is also Stephanie pink. Yes, it absolutely okay, is. And right. those are limited because we're, we're only doing one order. So once they're gone, they are literally gone forever. They are gone. I know we were just talking about that today. I'm like, Stephanie gets all the best stuff just for her. Yes. And she gets the limited edition stuff. So people need to be wise to that. Okay. Yes. But while I have you on the phone, woo, first of all, how are the twins? They are very good. Oh my gosh. They are growing so fast. I cannot believe it. They're over two years old now and just bundles of joy. Absolute bundles of joy. Okay. I can't, <laughs> I can't wait to see them. And I think Kimberly Saldana has convinced me to come out sooner than later. So it might not be too much longer. And um, what was the other thing? I was going to ask you about the new slimline storage. Yes. It is coming next Tuesday. Okay. Um, during our online class. So my online class participants are going to get first crack at it. And then if we have any leftover, um, uh, they will be available to everyone that night. Now, keep in mind, though, we weren't able to get very many of those. I know. That's we, what I said. I go, she. You saw the number. And I said, uh, I need more than that. And they said, no, not for a couple more months, I guess. Yes. So you are. Um, so next Tuesday, a week from today, you're going to have yes. them, but that's for class P what class are you teaching? I'm teaching a Swan Splendor online class. Ooh, that sounds so, good. Yeah, I know. And it's going to be a fun one. And is it so, sold out? Is it a free it class? It is a not. Free class? I, 
think it's very, I think we're down to the last few, but um, we do have a couple more tickets left. Okay. So, and it's all online, so you don't, it's not like you're coming to California or anything. Right. Although I would love if everyone came to California. But. I know, wouldn't that be fun? Okay, so <laughs> I'll make sure and get, we get a link out to the class. Is it on your website? It is on our website. Okay, good. So if you, if, uh, if you could send me a link, actually, as soon as Tuesday Live's over, I'll repost that. And then uh, that will remind people that they should be tuned in to your website for after any of those slimline storage sets. Do you mind if I show the slimline set today so oh, people can get all... Uh, absolutely. Feel okay. free. Feel all right. free. It's, it's a pretty awesome set. So, you know, I've been wanting it for a long time. So I, I actually have already started using mine. You I just said, you know what? Usually I wait and I don't do a sneak peek, but I said, you know what? Are you kidding me? No, I'm using it now. I need Yay. it. <laughs> I know. I love it too. I love it. I love it. Yeah. So, okay. Well, I'm going to do, I'll do a little sneak peek on it today before I wrap up. And then okay. we'll make sure and get people linked over so they know where to find uh, everything on your site. And then again, um, when it goes live, if there's any left after your class, uh, if you send me a link to it yes. live on your site, we will share it out here as well for those people who can jump on and get it. Fantastic. Sounds good. All right, my friend. Say okay. hello to your wonderful husband. Oh, thank you, too. Say hi to Park for I me. will. I will. And I will see you hopefully sooner than later uh, with Kimberly. Maybe I would in the next that. couple of weeks. That'll be super fun. All right. Oh, my gosh. I would love it. Okay. Love okay, you. Okay, Stephanie. Love you, you too. Soon, I'll hopefully. talk to you later. Okay. Bye-bye. Brenda just put the class link up. Oh, Brenda put the class link up. Way to go, Brenda. Thank you so much. You know, one of the great things about this whole community is how everybody is, um, how everybody shares everything, and you guys get out there and you find the information, because obviously I can't do it, like, right here while I'm standing at my little workspace. I'm going to just take that off there. Okay, I don't have my glasses on, so I can't put that way in the, in the correct space. Okay, so I hope that answers your question. One set of dies, one set of stamps. Yes, the stamps will stick to the back of the card. The red rubber stamps are thicker and heavier, so they're going to be tough to get in and out of the pocket. And that is the 8x5 pocket, the 8x5 magnet, and that is here in the Kirsten, no, in the Katie buddy bag. So if you like that vertical aspect, Katie's your girl for that. Um, also, probably a bit, Katie's probably available on the Stephanie Bernard website, Stamps of Life, as well. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, Karen says, question about the Katie. Okay, just got that. Uh, uh, Kathy Knight says, what sizes are the slide stash and stored that you have for your tools? So, I'm sorry, I should have said that. This first one is the number two. Okay, so the shorter a little bit wider. Um, these are the number two. These are the number three. Um, and those have the individual um, punch boards in them. This one has a couple of different scoreboards. This one is a four. I didn't pull this out before. So again, with paper trimmers. Now, this isn't going to fit all the bigger paper trimmers. So this is obviously my smaller paper trimmer. But again, it makes it really easy to store that. Super simple, right on the shelf. These are the number six, which I didn't pull those out either. So this is a button press and all the little tools that go with it in the number six. Uh, uh, uh. The giant punch here, the square giant square punch, and also the cinch um, in this one. So some of them, and this is a six, the size six as well. Now with next, right next to the cinch on my shelf, this is a number four, and it has all of the cinch thingies. I can't remember what they're called right now. Uh, spy the spirals for the cinch. And some of them I have in the boxes, and some of them are out of the boxes. But And then some cinch covers in there as well. So, again, in that, these are, again, something that once they're out of the package, they're kind of hard to contain because they're all, they all get hooky together. So um, nice to have them all in one place and easy to get to. But the, the tools and the materials that work with the tools all together, again, easy to pull out, easy to work with, super easy to use. So the two, the three, I don't, are those fours? Uh, uh, oh no, Mr. Bill, I think, I think these are threes. You know what, I'm going to take a picture of this and I'm going to put it up on um, Facebook, but I'm pretty sure those are threes. That's four. Oh, this is a five. 
Yeah. Some of them I was smart enough that I wrote, yes, fours. <laughs> These are fours. So I've got fours. Two, three, four, and six is what I've used. Uh, the five would work equally well. So the, probably the only one that's not uh, perfect for tools is the one, and that's because it's a tiny guy, right? This has got things like that in it. Or memories. Page, drops. Paper, 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 punch. <laughs> yes, 13 inches long. Will it fit in there? Yeah, I think these are 13 and a, how wide is it? If someone tells me how wide it is. Okay, so the interior of this is 13 and a half. So then you just need to worry about the width and they're all the same length. So 13 and a half deep interior and then just depending on the width of your Creative Memories uh, product and then you'll know which one you need or which one will fit in there. Um, Dana Hill says, can someone tell me what you recommend to store your paper sets in uh, store and stash paper handlers or <coughs> I'm wondering the you is what you being me or you meaning the other people that are watching. So um, I love paper handlers. I, the 12 by 12 paper handlers are probably my favorite for 12 by 12 paper storage. Um, and then they work with all our other 12 by 12 products like the um, scrap master, et cetera you can store paper in the bigger slide session store, but then other people may be answering that question. Tammy Middlestat, Tiffany, I have the craft and carry and love them, but I'm curious about how you can take them to crops without having to unload them. Shoot, I had two of them set up up here that I was using. I don't see any of them. Where did I just go with that, Mom? Did I bring one over to your house? Um, if you can, in this top shelf right here, in the cube in the top, uh, yep, that one, just grab one of those. If you, the turquoise one's fine. So I don't have one loaded up right now. It's probably at my mom's house. Um, so when they're assembled, they're like this, right? All I do to load mine in my lowest tote is I just grab it right here in the center. Let me grab a lowest. This might be a Cindy, but they're the same size. So I'll tell you one ad other advantage to the Cindy. Well, over the Lois, sorry Lois, is because Lois has these outside pockets. So these bags are designed to fold completely flat, which is great because when you store them, they're super flat. They're easy to store. They go in the back pocket of your car seat, wherever you want to put them. But when you're starting to load them, they don't stand up in this square shape, especially the Lois, very easily because they want to fold themselves flat. Because Cindy has these outside pockets, it's easier to get her to stand up straight and stay open. So what I would do, if I'm gonna take this, I would grab, just reach in and grab it right here by the center section, and then I just put it in there. Even if it's loaded up, I mean, especially if it's loaded up, that was your question, actually. So, Even if it's got all this stuff in it, and these, this, like this bag is really pretty heavy. What else can I throw in there that I can drop on my foot if it falls out and breaks something, right? So then I would just grab it right here, drop it in there, and then you've got room also, so I have my pop of trash can back there. Um, you've got room in the back of that also. So if you are, if you have, the vinyl roll organizer, or if you're using one of these, probably that's probably gonna fit up to a size five in the back as well. I know it's not gonna fit a six. So then you could have all your paper or your scrap masters or whatever stacked in there as well. But, um, and of course this one, the Cindy has the lid. So if you wanna close that lid over the top, zip that lid over the top if you're somewhere like Seattle where it rains, where I'm from, 
Um, oh, you can close it up. They said made that on the side. And you can just slide it in. <laughs> Lay. She said she lays her Cindy down. And just oh, yeah. So depending on what's in your pockets, like these, I could, if I had a bunch of little embellishments and stuff in there, they might spill out. But if you've got big things in there, you can slide it into this, into your bag this way. Um, if, as long as there's not a bunch of little stuff that's going to dump out everywhere. Uh, it is a short curl problem because I am standing up on about six inches of platform back here because <laughs> um, I could never do it if I was off. But you can also just set your Cindy tote on the ground or your lowest tote on the ground and then put your um, put your craft and carry workstation into the tote. But just grab it by that middle piece and drop it in, my friends. It's the perfect, It's dur this is durable enough that you don't, you're not gonna have to worry about it. Um, and the best thing is they make a barrier between her and messy crop, crop, crop. Oh, yes. Yeah, you could create your wall of wonder here so that your creeping croppers that are next to you don't creep into your crop, your limited crop space. All right, let me put this. Look what a good job I'm doing. I don't know if you all have noticed this, but usually when I do Tuesday Live, I end up with this huge mess on my workspace. And now I just have a few things scattered about okay let's see um okay i think that's it do you have any more questions on your list there mom um how do you put together the insert for the kirsten it is different from the other buddy bags um the kirsten buddy bag insert let's just do it this is the kirsten so this is a nine by six Dun, dun, dun. I'll take mine apart. Come out, come out wherever you are. Oh, that's true. And the instructions are um, kind of universal on buddy bags. So I bet we need to change that. So thank you for bringing that up and I will address it. So this is what you get with Kirsten. Ah, this is kind of this long thing here. So you're going to fold it together and put the corner tabs in first. If you're unfamiliar with the TT tabs, if you put them in at kind of an angle, I'll do the bottom one first. If you put them in at kind of an angle and push so the first edge is in, and then, then it's easier to get the second edge in, and you'll hear a little snap. Not so much with this because I've already done it, but I'm going to see if I can make it snap. No, little pop, not much of a snap. And then you've got the bottom piece here, which is different, right? You're gonna fold the flaps in and you've got two little tabs and a big square. Sorry, I know it's clear. So you're just gonna tuck the tabs into the square. One, two, and then the top tabs go in as well. Now, if you have arthritis, as so many of us do, folding those little tabs in can be tough. Just grab your needle nose pliers and twist and just um, bend them and pop them in and they'll go right in. And that is it. That is Kirsten Assembly 101. And thank you for bringing that up. I will address that with packaging and make sure that we get that um, changed. Let me write myself a note. Do you have any idea how many pounds you can put in the lowest or something like More than you can carry. More than you want to carry. How about that? So, more than I can pick up. Yes, more. Up. That's right. Um, yeah, uh, the, the Cindy tote, we did add the, the pad for your shoulder because people do load them up and carry them heavy. They are reinforced all the way around. Um, the reason we have the bottom in fabric, so when the lowest first came out, it was uh, clear vinyl all the way to the bottom. We added that uh, fabric around the bottom because people were putting things in there that were pokey, like your paper handlers, um, that heavy plastic. And so that helped, that stopped your things from poking through. The straps are reinforced. You literally, I mean, I have filled it with paper, which is probably the heaviest thing that you could put in there um, with no problem. I carried a Gemini in there. In fact, if you, um, if you are transporting uh, your Gemini Junior, come off there. So, right, this guy weighs, I don't know, probably 15 or 20 pounds. 
but it will fit. So I have it on the rotating design board. This is the nine by 11 rotating design board. You can put your regular Gemini on the nine by 11 rotating design board as well. Um, and then either of them will fit in your tote. And even with that much weight and the rotating design board in the tote, it's easy to move around and easy to carry. So definitely more, unless you're a professional weight trainer, um, you can load it up as much as you can carry. And I promise you, it will handle the weight. Like you'll notice like the straps are reinforced and everything. It's designed to carry more weight than we would want you to actually carry. Um, all right. Uh, person assembly notes. I'm adding that to my thing. All right. Anything else over there, Mom? No, I don't see anything. Leanne's done a great job. Keeping up Yay, Leanne. Woo, woo. Okay. So just a reminder, quick reminder. Oh, and we're going to have a winner. So um, <coughs> your quick reminders. $10 Tuesday, right? You've got the 12 by 12 um, paper taker, normally $19-ish. And you've got the four, the four drawer storage and supply case, normally $16-ish. And then you've got the double-sided duo pages. All of those are on the on special tab on the Tolly Tiffany website. So you can see them all right there. Um, great deals. You don't want to miss out on that. Um, Stephanie Bernard's website has those special colors in the tote bag and in the lowest tote and in the buddy bag collection. So make sure if you're a pink girl or a purple girl, purple girl, make sure you pop over to Stephanie's site and check those out. We put some links up in the feed. I'll try to get some links up in the Tuesday takeaways as well. That won't happen until later today because I'm going to run into town with my mom. And, um, but we will get those links up for you. Oh, really quickly. Oh, I just said I was going to show you the slimline storage and then I didn't. It's right there on the table, mom. That first box is pretty heavy. Ugh. Not crazy heavy, but I didn't want you to pick it up thinking it was like going to be pom poms or whatever. This is the new slimline storage solution that Stephanie will be releasing next Tuesday after her class. So it is a uh, plastic box with the handle, kind of going our little trademark things. And it comes with the nine by six pockets and the nine by six magnets. So this one is just loaded up. Um, I'm going to show you how much stuff will fit in here. So always my goal for you is to keep things together you use together. So this collection of products includes this die, these two stamps, and then five stencils. All of those are able to fit in the pocket so that you can have the entire collection of products together in one place, easy to access, easy to use. Again, I'm going to put the, the magnet in on the back side where the, there's no cutout in the front of the pocket because it's easier to slide it in there and not get it hung up on things. And then I'm gonna put the stamps on the front side, super visual, easy to see. So the bundle that Stephanie is getting has the box, 10 pockets and 10 magnets, I think. Read the details on our website, but I'm pretty sure that's the bundle that you're getting with Stephanie. Uh, or. May, it might have more. She might have more pockets and magnets because you will be able to fit more pockets and magnets in there. So gr obviously great for dies and stamps. It's also great for your stencils, right? So these are the, um, the stencils for Slimline. And what I've done with these stencils is I've put a bunch of them and I just added these little pieces of paper around the stencil that gives me a place to put the label um, and the stencils don't get hung up on each other. Like when you try to put stencils away, the corners and stuff get hung up. So adding that little paper, I don't know what we call it, envelope of sorts, um, allows you to put a bunch of them together and they don't get hung up when you put them back into the pocket or on each other. So, and I just used our little shut your flap tabs on that. Something else that someone brought up to me, maybe right here on Tuesday Live, was a question about Cricut booklets, overlays, and cartridges. If you still have those, she said, will those fit in this set? And they will. So if you're looking for a way to condense down all of your Cricut, your older Cricut cartridges, booklets, and overlays, the box and pockets are a perfect fit for that as well. So this is the slimline storage solution that Stephanie will be releasing uh, on Tuesday, <coughs> excuse me, after her class. So get on her email list if you're not already. Uh, follow her on Facebook or Instagram and you will know when it's available 
And of course, if you wanna take her class on Tuesday, you'll have first crack at the slimline storage solution. Woo, I got that all. Okay, so drum roll on the prize winner. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, our winner today, Anne Schroeder. You have won a $25 gift card to the Tolly Tiffany website. All you need to do to claim your prize is reach out to prizes at crafterscompanion.com. That's prizes with an S at crafterscompanion.com and they will get your account credited so that you have that $25 gift uh, voucher or, or credit to spend on the website. If you don't have an account on tollytiffany.com at Crafters Companion, if you're not a member of Club Inspire, which is completely free, join that first and that way your account will be all set up and they can add that credit to your account. All right, my crafty friends, I've got a little bit of homework for next week, a little bit of follow-up. Uh, please keep your eye on Facebook or Instagram, wherever you like to get your social media information. And we will put up a post next week asking you for questions. So if you think about a question a day or two in advance, you can jot it down there and I'll answer it next week as well. Whew, I think that's it. Welcome back, my Tuesday tribe, to Tuesday Live. I look forward to seeing you every Tuesday right here on Facebook or YouTube, wherever you're watching. And I will see you next week.